So last time, I will recap, because just for the show's sake. Uh, when last we left our intrepid heroes, nah. Motley crew. Yeah, that's better. They went They went back to their jobs. Cal uh, conversed with a co-worker while he farmed. Uh, uh, hold on. Hold on. I have the name of the fruit. <laughs> My notes are here. Dud. Farming on Coruscant <laughs> is still so weird. Yeah. The Tusk Chris's roots, which are toxic, even the leaves. And so in hazmat suit, which is why it's kind of a low collar job. Uh, but it's uh, work that Kalshin can do and it pays. Our two bodyguards went back to being bodyguards. Not a lot of action happened except two kind of shady individuals. And followed by a retinue of an imperial audacity. <laughs> Named Jiris Lanith, who uh, interrogated our friend Nyx and became convinced through Nyx's cunning or his own stupidity that that Nyx was ISB and sent to aid in the in the gang problems and the trash problems down here in the lower levels. Um, Ash went back to fixing ships, met a interesting individual who... Uh, just loaded up some crates onto his ship while it was being fixed. Not standard protocol, but uh, it was hard to stop him. <laughs> it was very charismatic. <laughs> it was very persuasive. There we go, that's the quote. <laughs> it was very charismatic. <laughs> but then, uh, Nix and Kalshin together went to the great trash pile in the center of the, of the, I guess, gaping hole in the middle of Coruscant. And were accosted by a strange beast that that bit Kalshin, if I remember correctly, but then was quickly slain. Uh, but it appears to only be part of a beast. Uh, you returned and told your comrades about it, and now you all kind of tromping through the trash. Which, it's, it's weird. There are soft bits one step, hard bits another. It's all, like, packed very tight here at the top, though. So no, like, stepping through can happen unless you try with, like, a tool. You ever hate when you're eating soft food and then you just hear and feel a fucking crunch? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I don't remember if you did step out or were about to. We were about remember... to, and I would like to kick it off if you shall allow me, DM. I think that's everything. Did I forget anything? I'm still in the trash pile, if I recall, but that's about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We met, we probably all met back up. After yes. we got back down the elevator. Because you all have comm links. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, Ash is going to pull the group together and be like, all right, I have a plan because you, points to Nyx, <laughs> have Puts done hands up. way too much today getting yourself in trouble. So I'm going to take point. Take Racer with me, and you two stay 30 feet behind me. Lemmy's gonna stay here and be a lookout and plus looking cute. Uh, Wait a minute, why is the droid the lookout? Because he can't go over the trash. We don't want to win. His little <laughs> wheels don't work right, he's gonna get stuck. Point is, you two can get things from afar. I can sense things before they run into it, because this thing's digging around in the trash. I can sense it before we can see it. And Rachel's good at hitting things real hard, so we're, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go ahead with her, you stay 30 feet behind me, and I can point out where it's gonna try and attack us before it does. The young mouse droid is also better, than, better at us than hiding, in fairness. We are we? And maybe, if we can kill the second thing, they'll reward for it. It's true. <laughs> well, it's... Long as they don't ask how we killed it. All right, fine. All right, I motion for for Raystra, and I start going out into the trash. <laughs> I will follow. As previously stated, some steps are softer than others. It's it's weird. There is a smell, but it's like when so much is mixed together, you like become numb to even like any of the individual pieces. <laughs> and uh, like I said, this pile of trash is continent size what uh what direction would you like to go uh i just start going forward from the platform that we came down on towards the center that we were on yeah sure uh i'll describe 
again off to the left, which I'll say I'll say for ease sake, you're facing north. So to your west, a good bit of distance away, but it's so big that you can see it is the uh, entrance of a mining operation that has you can see uh, monorails with elevators slash carts that go straight down and like some other machinery and rigmarole and even some tents uh, out there. Uh, a little bit right and out, uh, actually a good bit, are uh, kind of an installation built into the wall of what you assume is equipment. But it looks like, and actually Kaoshin will inform you because he ran into one, uh, scrap droids that uh, are just not being used anymore, it seems. Because Kaoshin last time uh, had a run-in with one that tried to attack him. Other than that, it's trash nearly as far as the eye can see. There is a, a horizon that the horizon ends in the wall of the Undercity and just goes straight up because you are in like a giant circle hole that is bored through. It's not even bored through because we're not at the core of the planet. This is just city that has been built up around this hole for millennia. So where did you first come into contact with this stupid thing? What? A third fleet's not that far away, Nix. <laughs> what? I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we didn't. It, not too far from here. About a couple of meters that way. Right. That's a good place to start as any. Uh, are you all tippy toeing? Probably. My tremor sense is out to thirty feet. So that's why I wanted with them, with them to at least thirty feet behind. Because so of your. Because of your headpiece, not your your montrals, actually, I believe is what they are called. Because your danglies are called leku as well. This is called the montral. Uh, you have echoes. So I can, as long as I can sense every one of my party around me and whatever might be beneath me. Yeah. Then it's, it's Gucci gang. Uh, everyone roll stealth checks if you're all tippy toeing. I. I can do that. I'm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna need a hot minute to look at my sketch sheets, but... Awful, absolutely fucking terrible. Yeah, no, uh, not great. I have to... But it well, sounds like whatever I roll, it's not gonna matter too much anyways. <laughs> I had disadvantage, I just remembered, but yeah, it... Hmm. 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 What are we, what are well, we... I rolled a... Stealth. I rolled a five on the die, so... Oh, cool. Uh, I rolled a four on the die, so six. I, I also rolled a four on the die, that's seven. <laughs> Hi. Hold on one sec. Ah, please roll a nat twenty, Nix. That's not gonna. That's gonna pull our average up, but not by much. Well, yeah, but survival, at least we have something. My survival, ironically, is plus one. So we'll see. Well, this, this is stealth. Is stealth. <laughs> oh, I thought you said survival. Oh, stealth. No. All right. Hold on. No, no stealth. That. Freak. Oh, I can do that. That's plus four. Ooh. Uh, twenty-three. Cool beans. He did pull the average. <laughs> so, you guys tippy toe for a good little bit. Actually, not a good little bit. Like two minutes pass if you guys tippy toeing. You know, at that slow pace, you don't go that far, but you you, know, you leave the uh, the entrance a good bit behind you, and that's when through your echolocation is not echolocation tremor sense. Mm -hmm. You get a. You've had a, Ash, you've had a steady sense, like, since you guys are moving steadily of the vibrations around you, you know, in your, in your montrals, and then suddenly there's behind you, 30 feet behind you, something fast approaching, actually. It kind of enters your sense and is, like, kind of overtaking it. Is it near, is it closer, is, so is it, like... Closer to where you told your peop your fellow men to follow you. Uh, Okay. Uh, there! Right there! It's coming fast! Turn around! Alright. That that warning uh, provokes disadvantage on this attack. So, Nyx, what is your armor class? Ooh, it rolled good anyway. <laughs> Nyx, what is your armor class? Uh, my armor class is uh, 16. 19 beats that. <laughs> yeah, 19 beats that. <laughs> so suddenly the, the vibrations kind of like take over your senses and your mantras that you've been focusing on, Ash, and then out from the 
out from the trash right under Nyx emerges a kind of ovloid shaped kind of digit with a gaping mouthy maw and the digit is the size of Nyx. And, oh good. Uh it bites down on him for uh four points of kinetic damage. Okay. All right. That's, that's and fine. you are grappled. Oh, that's where it's by the teeth. We need to roll initiative. Hug. <laughs> Huggers. Huggers. That was not better. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I am not doing good. Feeling good. Not feeling good. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. I'm the only one that took the damage. 25 to 20. 20 to 15. Oof. <laughs> Oof. 15 to 10? 12. 14. Okay, uh, so Ash got 14. Ray got 12. Uh, what did you get, Nyx? 6. Sick. I left room for whatever Kalsheen rolls. Actually, I should have. I wish I had his stats. Do I? Hold on. I can find his decks. Hold on. Ha ha! He has no plus. I'll roll for him. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind, too late. Here I am. Something bit Nyx. Roll initiative. It's again. Oh my god, something bit Nyx? How awful! Yeah, it's the same thing. Roll initiative. You truly do not say. It's the same thing that bit me the last time. <laughs> yeah. Oh no! I don't know what that could possibly be like. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't relate. Couldn't relate. Never get bit, ever. What Couldn't relate. I wish I had more force points. I'm sorry. All right. Fucking be a better, be a better fighter. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah. Modify to twenty on initiative. You rolled a twenty. I sure did. You have no idea how fortunate that is because the mo the creature was going to go first. <laughs> <laughs> I guarantee you, me going first is not going to help anyone. Well, you're right next to a uh, Nyx who has been bitten by this. So it's oblong. It's kind of yeah, oblong in shape, the size of Nyx, so human sized, and has like a toothy maw all down its length. And it bit it bit Nyx, and he is grappled. Because it is biting down on him. Uh, but first up is Kalsheen. Let's see. Um, technically my Shoto Saber would do more damage, so... I guess I'll hit it with my Shoto Saber. Go ahead. Yeah, do it. Give me, give me a swing. Uh, 18 to hit? That'll hit. Cool. Where's my D6? There it is. Uh, that'll be five energy damage. Five energy damage? Shh! You give it a good slice, kind of at the base, uh, under where it's biting Kalsheen, and you, like, huck a good, like, kind of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, take a huge chunk out of it, but the cut is not all the way clean, and it's, uh, it's mouth that it just bit, uh, Nyx with makes a blood-curdling sound. Uh, but it is alive. But barely. Um, let me actually... Just because you did so much of those hit points. Uh, it doesn't matter. Actually, we'll use that roll. Because it is the creature's turn. Unless that's not all you have to do. I think the most I'll do is uh, I'll just shout out the, uh, Found him! <laughs> and then get a good slice on the creature's turn it rolls to hit and it only rolls in eight. Oh, but you're grappled it has advantage uh that is only a 12 that is not your armor class right nix armor class is 14 if i remember correctly his armor class is 16 16 yeah definitely misses uh that's good so it tries to bite down harder and get more of its kind of maw around uh nyx but he, he kind of like he has two teeth one in each hand and is just like <laughs> and it uh after that slash it just can't get a good enough grip on him uh ash it is your turn you're 30 feet away this is gonna be a stupid idea 
Um, I take out my shocky stick. I run up to the thing, and I try to get it with my stick. All right, roll to attack. No, that's a 12. It meets, it beats. <gasps> Yay. So that's, so what I'm doing is electroshock. Yeah. It will take uh, 1d8 uh, lightning damage, and it will be shocked until the start of its next turn. Okay, cool. Which means it cannot take reactions. It cannot, and uh, on its turn, the shock creature can take either an action bonus action, but not both. But I won't get to that point because it goes away at the start of its turn, but it means it can't take reactions. Uh, that's five points of electric damage. Lightning damage. You have, you have killed it. Tell me how. <laughs> um, I go at it from where uh, Kalshin struck it. And I make it, the rest of it, clean through. Yeah, so just, like, he cut a good bit out, and then you just kind of, with your shocky stick, which I believe you said is just one half of uh, what General Grievous's guards had. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so it, <laughs> that sick sound, uh, <laughs> and you kind of just finish the swing, and it, like, the electricity hits it, and the electricity kills it. Uh, because it was very low, but you, like, with the force of the swing, just finish that cut, just with the heat of the electricity, and it kind of, scoosh, the the entire thing plops face forward, uh, kind of crushing Nyx under its weight. No damage, but, like, Nyx is, uh, just pff, under it now. Alright, that was too easy. That can't be all of it. No, I wouldn't be surprised if it wasn't either. All of you except Nyx, because you're buried. Make a perception check. That was... Unpleasant. <laughs> God, rolling like fucking I'm dice jail for you. Same. I have not been rolling great. Uh, six. Nine. Dice jail. I'm switch yeah, I'm switching dice. Fuck this. Cool. Fuck you. Uh, Nyx. Uh, wait, what are we rolling? Sorry? You were buried, so you don't get this perception check. Kalshin, what do you got in your perception? I got a 15 on perception. You saw this creature before? You saw it do something like this before? Your eyes were on where your cut was when Ash finished the cut, and you see that when the greater the greater piece of this is like cut off, there's a little bit about as wide as a piece of plumbing, kind of tube, fleshy tube that back into the back into the trash. It kind of sins very quickly. So it goes back uh, into the trash. Uh, Nyx is going to uh, push the thing off of him, get up, look around. Do I see anybody, like, other than us here in this trash area? Uh, make a perception check. Um, that'll be uh, 12. 12? You don't see anybody other than you. You guys waited till after quitting time, so there's no miners, and if there were. Sorry, that wasn't a 12. That was a, uh, that was a, I'm sorry, I was looking 23. at the wrong number. That, no. <laughs> <laughs> that was a, a flat 10. Oh. Same answer. You don't see anybody. You guys waited till after after work hours, so there's no miners, and if there would be, they would be down. Which also, you, I believe Kaoshin would know. He's been around these levels. There, There's the mine entrance up top here, but as the... Because you guys are on level 500, which is where this tr trash has piled up to, and they've kind of kept the top of the trash at 500 to the best of their ability, because that's where the entrance is. Uh, but on periodic levels under level 500 there are entrances into like the trash pile that have been dug out for mining and scrapping purposes cool uh, um nyx is going to uh take off his helmet and get some fresh air uh immediately regret it yeah that wasn't a smart fresh movie. question qu quotation marks let's just say they might recognize my face <laughs> <laughs> uh and uh kind of rub his head for like a second why did they go after me? I thought I was the one that was being quiet. I don't know. Maybe you smell bad. <sighs> We're good. I, I I don't know how you could pick out anything specific down here. I don't know what he got. All I know is that that thing's probably a lot bigger than what we just dealt with. So we gotta be real careful. This thing is no joke. And it's got a nasty bite to it. Ugh. It's gonna kind of roll his arm where he got bit. All right, keep moving. All right, 
Uh, I guess we keep moving and a different, probably different formation. Everyone's a little bit closer together, so she can react a little bit better, faster, better, faster, stronger. Yeah. Uh, stealth checks then. Sure. Augur. None of my uh, dice like me today. That's better. Fifteen. Let's see. Sixteen plus one. Seventeen. Um, I got, uh, I got fifteen. No, sorry. Oh, uh, ten again. <laughs> All My right. math is so off. It's fine. It's not like this is a numbers game. Oh, wait. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, say them all again for me. Ash? Ten. Ten? <laughs> Fifteen from, uh, Ray, if I remember correctly. Kaushin, yes. what did you get? I got seventeen. Seventeen. All right. And again. Alrighty. Um, let me actually... All those years of hiding from the Empire, yeah. and finally, I've gotten good at it. <laughs> All five of them. I mean, you guys march slowly forward, and I imagine kind of a fanned out, like, more like the birds, like how birds fly south. Kind of a little equidistant from Ash being the point, because, you know, she's the one with the tremor sense. The formation, got it. The... And, like, about five minutes past, you get pretty far, so far that, like, the entrance you came in is, like, a dot on the horizon, and nothing seems to happen except you do, there's a point, Ash, there's two points, actually, during, where small, much smaller than what came and attacked Nyx, kind of pass under your, your tremor sense vision, just kind of, like, an object, definitely long because like you feel it for a good bit and it's like and like it just kind of passes under you and then after that five minute uh something much bigger about the size that you remember does something similar except it's coming from like behind you and then gets right under you but continues forward instead of getting closer up but so far that's all that happens it's in an attack again i don't i don't like this one bit but it's going in a direction, and I think we should continue to follow it. I agree. Either that or it's circling around us like a shark. What's a shark? It's a Camino thing. <laughs> Just regular ass earth sharks are on Camino. <laughs> it's kind of now. I mean, tell me they're not. Tell yeah, me they're I mean, not. Yeah, yeah, it's true. <laughs> Proof to no, me, it's... Mr. Lorman, that they're not. It's, it's a creature with called shark, but with like two A's. No, two R's. And it's, you know, nothing like what we picture, though they are ocean predators. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, I will start following the direction of where the weird things are going. Uh, so it's weird. One, like, crossed you diagonally, like, coming from north east, n- yeah, northeast to southwest. One, like, kind of crossed right under you east to east to west. Uh, you're not sure, but you just figure they are creatures. Uh, and in fact, we'll say as you continue a bit more, like five minutes more, there is another one that kind of comes uh, from west to east. And this time you feel the big presence come and like be kind of engulf the small presence. And then the small presence is gone and the big presence goes down. I want to go where it goes down. And All then... right start digging i guess digging now do you have tools for that no uh i will say at this point in the direction you've gone not that far from you to your right is the zone where the scrapper droids are kept and now that you are closer there's like a pile of humanoid sized ones uh a couple pile of those piles of those a few like that look like uh dog sized ones with with treks and drills and then you see behind like garage doors but not not garage doors as we know them it's kind of like a gate that shuts horizontally a vertical yeah horizontally uh is a massive version of what you see of those small ones it is it has treks it it has blasters mounted on it which is a little weird uh but not to what? not to nix and kalshin they know a lot of this is repurposed war 
war machines. Uh, yeah. We may want that. Uh, yeah, we're definitely gonna want that one. <laughs> I've just pictured guns duct taped to an octopus. <laughs> We need to figure out a way to lure the whole thing out of the ground because it seems like it can just stay under under all this trash for as long as it wants and never has to show the main body. Um, maybe if we make a big enough of a stir, but I'm not sure what would be good bait. <sighs> well, we get it out of the ground to begin with. What should I do? Dress Nix up and have him do the luau? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, literally, uh, yeah, Nix is kind of like rubbing his chin and everybody stares at him and goes, I don't know that look. Oh, so just because I'm a clone, I'm expendable. I get it. Mm. Not to me. <laughs> Plo Koon says in the force. Actually, his force ghost is like, no, screw you. My wolves killed me. <laughs> I trusted them. They were my bros. <laughs> no, he would be like, no, he wouldn't. No, that's not Plo Koon. <laughs> he wouldn't know about the chips, so... <laughs> I'm sure he would learn about it in Force afterwards. That's true. You do know everything when you're a Force ghost. Ish. Anyway. Anyway. Um, Nyx is gonna kind of, like, rub the bridge of his nose. Oh, I've got a way to get his attention. Mm-hmm. Actually, um... I can create a small shockwave. Oh. Yeah, that's probably the best way to do it, I think. Probably. Can you do it at a, can you do it at a distance or do you have to like be the center point of it? Let me look. Let me just think about it for a moment. Was it sound Actually, trick? allow your DM to retcon something because I like the visual of this. I said this this uh scrapper vehicle droid has treads. It does not. It has wheels just like the turbo tanks used in the Clone Wars. It's actually kind of like half of one cut off, repurposed, uh, and oh, with so a drill a, put on front. So it's a robot, it's not... Well, it's a droid vehicle. It can self-pilot. No, that's what I mean, it's like, okay, so it's, a, yeah. so it's a droid, it's not a... I thought it was like a flesh and blood thing, which is why oh, I, no, I said... No. Which is why I said I just pictured a gun duct taped to an octopus. No, no, these are all machinery over here in this zone, and you guys are still, like, a good many meters from it, but, like, this thing is so big, it's easy to spot. Um, it's less a gun duct taped to an octopus and more a, a knife-wielding tentacle. <laughs> um, can I actually drive this thing? That's a good question. Do you have vehicle proficiency? I mean, look. I would like to use my vehicle proficiency. I would well, like here's the thing. I feel like as a clone, if this is a repurposed... Uh, you, they're a clone uh, pilots, though. You yes, are a yeah. Right yes, that's very true. So I would have very basic knowledge on how to do it. Yeah. I would know how to turn it on and drive it. <laughs> but yeah, that's as far as it goes. Is the tool proficient? Oh, wait, hold on. Are vehicles considered tool proficiencies? Uh, no, I, I mean, kind of, but it would be specified if you had like a vehicle proficiency. No, it, didn't, it doesn't specify. So, no, I do not have vehicle proficiency. Okay, what I knew. So, your lore master has to correct himself because I knew it wasn't just called a clone turbo tank. That's what the Lego set is called. It's a HAVWA6 juggernaut, is what they. You know their designation, Nix. Yes. Because you probably thought they were cool. Uh, yeah, and they are yeah, cool. It's a sure. fucking juggernaut. Look at these things. Yeah. These, things yeah. can, these things can carry so much supply, and also they're extremely defensible. Not no, the, the slaps hands on vehicles. That yeah, this baby, baby can carry so, so much. much. No, <laughs> the strange thing about this one is it's only four wheeled. The front four, the section, the section that basically has the driver's own, the top mounted cannon, and the front four wheels are all that's here of this. There's a drill mounted to the front, and the top cannon, it doesn't look like a cannon anymore. It looks like it's kind of a mining laser. This poor girl's lost some weight, but it could probably get the thing's attention if we roll it out there. And would probably give it a run for its money as well. I don't know if it will be enticing to bring the whole body out, though. I mean, it's worth a shot, but this thing likes to hunt and peck, basically. Let's see. Yum. Is it is it on its side or or is it on its wheels? Uh, it's on its wheels. It is parked in like a weird garage thing that kind of has the gate closed, uh, and it lo it looks like it's been there a while. Rust has start to set in. 
It's just defunct, it seems. Okay. So you don't know if it's operational, especially from this distance, but that can be discovered. Absolutely going to go check that thing out to see if it's if it's functioning. Because if it's functioning, it's definitely worth utilizing in this scenario. Alrighty. Uh, you guys head that way. One more stealth check, I guess. Just for fun. All of us? One for fun. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's a two on the die. That's a that's another ten. Oh, that's a third three. time in a fucking row. That's a natural one. Seventeen. For a <laughs> for a four total, Justin. None of my a dice like total. me today. I even pre-rolled. They decided to betray me. On the way, uh, we'll just say just because of the one. Uh, actually, you sense the large presence coming right for you, but since you know. They'll have disadvantage. Ooh, not good, not good, not good. That's only a six. Thank the Lord that my AC so, is fourteen bits higher. You since to come, you're just like you. You guys are like, oh, let's head towards the docky bay. And you're like, pff, 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 face into the trash, and are like, oh no. And you sense the motion and just kind of do a sick barrel roll, and pff, it emerges from trying to bite exactly where you were at, but you get right out of the way. But we'll keep the initiative from before, unless you guys hate that idea. No, that's okay. That's fine. No, I'm fine with that. That means, Cal, you're up first. It's there. <laughs> I mean, you guys can see it. It has emerged. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's there. No <laughs> shit! <laughs> pew pew. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> Do you have a visual? Can you confirm? <laughs> uh, I hate all of you. Uh, 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 can I attack it with my Shoto Saber? Am I close enough? You guys remained within 30 feet of her, so definitely. Okay. That's a what am I gonna do. Hit it good. That'll be a 14 to hit? Uh, that'll hit. Cool. Give me the damage. Four damage. All right. You get another nice slice. This one kind of like on its back. Because, and you slice straight down through its back, get a nice gash in it, and it, again, makes one of those awful sounds. Uh, but it is not dead. Uh, it's its turn. I would sure like it to be. It would sure be nice if it were dead. Yeah. It's going to try to hit Kalshin. Just... Wouldn't it be nice? It rolled It rolled an 18 to hit. Uh, but does it gotta... I mean, a, a, t a tip for a tat. What's my AC? Where's my AC? <laughs> Can't I just have AC? the tit? I don't need the tat. I'll do you one better. Why is AC? <laughs> oh, okay. I forgot. My AC is... <laughs> yeah, that hits. <laughs> okay. What's your AC again? Sad. Four kinetic damage. Four kinetic damage and you are grappled in its toothy maw. Uh... Ashes. I'm turn. below half health. After only taking four damage? I already took damage prior, and we didn't take a long rest. He's a wizard. I thought we took a or short sorcerer. rest. We took a I... short rest. You didn't spend any hit die to get yourself back up to full? No, I'm pretty sure I saved it, because I can give it to other people. And I wasn't sure if other people needed it. Be selfish. I have, like, one left. Okay, great. Uh, still, I'm going to hit it with my shocky stick again. Do it. <laughs> hit with the stick. Roll a five. Was... No, fuck you. <laughs> That's 19 plus six. That definitely hits. Roll damage. Six electric damage. It's shocks. It can't take a reaction. Uh, it's dead. You, uh, you're still on the ground, kind of just straight up into... Into like its mouth where Kalshin isn't, and it just like and uh, plops, sizzling and dead. At least this thing's effective. And since now all of you, all of you know what to look for, uh, you all see the little tu the flesh tube, kind of be detached from and down into the trash. Ugh. I hate no, the sense. fact that it's called a flesh tube. <laughs> yeah, it's only fair. It's, it's what it is. Can I sense where it was going? Can I? Uh, it too far out of my tremor sense to tell how far it, it goes. Down. As as far as it goes in your tremor sense, you feel it going kind of like down and away, and then it leaves your tremor sense. 
I don't know how many of these hacking things these they have, so we're just going to have to start making some, some trouble. You okay, Cal? Yeah. Well, I'm still alive. That's better than most. You don't need you to go I, um, first, buddy. I'll, I'll take care of it. I'm going to go ahead and cast... Yeah, I'm going to cast heal on myself. You all watch this Nautilin just place his hands on his chest and uh, the force the force sensitives feel uh, kind of just energy uh, kind of flow like a feedback loop through his arms into him and then back and everyone watching like sees wounds heal just, just it, as if like time lapsed how much do you heal pretty sure my force casting ability modifier is wisdom, so I heal myself for four damage, which is the minimum. Uh, but it is what you took, so yeah, <laughs> back to square one. <clears throat> cool. As if it never happened. Uh, but now you guys are just kind of a throwing distance away from this scrap heap, this, you know, kind of droid zone where it seems like they were stored and taken care of, but now it is all defunct. Yeah. I would I would try to uh, pilot it myself because I'm decent with technology, but I need to be able to tell where this thing's coming up from. Let's uh, I don't know. see how it works. Uh, Nix is going to go ahead and uh, investigate the uh, yeah. the the juggernaut. Anyone that desires can do that. Yes. Uh, uh, Ash Ash, you'll have the advantage since you are a mechanic. Red. <laughs> I'm good at investigation. Motherfucker! Are we just uh, cursed today? It's a bad day. I will assist. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no better! Jesus. Six. I rolled a four and then a three. Four, four, uh, sixteen. Sixteen? Sixteen. Uh, sixteen? And next you're like, yeah, this is a, uh, this is what I used to see. Yeah, he just uh, lifted lift me. <laughs> yeah, this, uh, this they all looks familiar. They, sh they showed me, uh, holos on, in, you know, on Camino. So you start, you start naming off the parts. You're like wheel, axle, and but Ash, you look at it and you're like, mm, this, it could be better, could be a lot worse, but you know, the rust seems to be taking over the axles. That can be maybe buffered down with a piece of equipment around here. You find <laughs> Nix is in the moment of like pointing out where the engine is when you just open it up. <laughs> yeah, that is definitely the, that is definitely the engine. Yeah. Uh, and it looks uh, worse for wear, but completely intact. And it looks like it probably just needs fuel, maybe changing of a cap or two. Uh, and, but you, you think it could, it could turn over. Uh, I think this could <laughs> maybe turn over, but I'll see if I can futz with it a little bit. I start looking around for all of the things I would need to fix it. I would look in Lemmy, but Lemmy can't be here because he is being a good boy back on the platform. I imagine you have tools on your belt. I would probably have some, yeah. Uh, so... Uh, is there any... Is a uh, quick question, DM. Is there any data pads in here at all? Uh, that's a good question. Make a well. Would you like to make a separate investigation check? Well, yeah, it is for a separate thing. So another investigation check then. Will do. Lenny wheeling around in circles, deeply concerned. <laughs> uh, investigation. That is a twelve. Twelve. Uh, you don't see any. You kind of start rifling through. And this is kind of like a bunker, for lack of a better word. You've stepped out of the trash pile, kind of into a wall of the trash pile. So you're kind of like back on level 500. But this place was just like built off to the side of the trash pile to store the scrap droids and this vehicle. Uh, so no threat of tentacles for now. Gotcha. Uh, and, but you kind of, you, you turn over tables you look under tables you look in bins uh don't find anything kind of data pad or uh otherwise with like information on it 
I don't know why this stuff is just abandoned out here. It's not utilized anymore. I, I mean, this is a trash heap. I would imagine it probably doesn't work. I mean, everything's in, mostly intact. It's just, you know, rust has gotten to the better of some bits, and it's going to take me a little while, but I can certainly try and get this thing moving to cause some ruckus. A fracas, if you will. Just uh, something to get its attention, see if we can drive it out with it. If it thinks that there's a big meal, it might devote a little bit more oomph to its uh, attempt to eat something if we throw something bigger at it. Can I... <laughs> Bryce Drew just kind of sighs. I'm going to look around. Can I find uh, um, like an oxygen tank? Uh, Are you desiring... What I think you're desiring, or... Uh, dis distinctly possible. It all depends on whether or not I can find an oxygen tank. Uh, I don't think so. There wouldn't have been... People didn't go diving in this. <laughs> Nobody went actually dumpster diving. These droids were... No, I meant this... like... I meant like, uh... Not like a scuba tank. Like, just like a pressurized air tank. Uh, like you, actually... You used, you used pressurized air tanks for lots of things, my guy. That's true, that's true. Especially in fucking space. There would be some in uh, the inside the vehicle, specifically for the purpose of if something went wrong, it like lowered airbags. Uh, but there were also a few, there's a few gears and mechanics that it uses pressurized air for if the uh, like mechanical systems fail. Uh, so yes. Picking up what Raystra is throwing down, uh, Nyx is absolutely going to help her. All right. I am currently away from the vehicle, I should point out. I am keeping yeah. watch. Yeah. Do you, would you like me to roll a check of some kind? Uh, so you're attempting to fix, then. It will take some time, but go ahead and roll a tinkerer check. Or uh, there's a tools check, isn't there? There's a mechanic. There's a mechanic check, if I remember correctly. That, I uh, that, might, that. that might take some time, but this won't. I'm going to throw it, just, like, not hard enough to even make a check, just so it's, like, away from us. Yeah, so, like, strength score distance away from you. Yeah, perfect. And then I look at Nyx, and I go, I mean, it's... Oh, yep, 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 pulls out his blaster, aims. Here we go, I love this, I love everything about this. Um, you, uh, wait like 60 seconds, 120 seconds, uh, nothing really happens. Uh, I'm gonna shoot it. Ooh, I guess roll to attack, just in case, because it is, objects do have AC. I did. Um, finally, something higher than a 10. Um, higher it's than almost, a 10 is what you needed. <laughs> I was about to say, it's almost, it's truly almost as if. Uh, 23. All right. Now, Justin is not the biggest science brain, but, you know, bolts of plasma, pressurized air. You wouldn't get, like, a massive fireball, but it would be, like, pfft, you know, right? <laughs> it's, uh, I have, yeah. I have some very unfortunate news for you. Uh, no, you wouldn't, a fireball, no. Uh, it will defo, like, explode, explode. Yeah. So just like and like loud, yeah. And the that is pieces the goal. of shrapnel go everywhere. One piece of shrapnel does kind of like hit the side of this bunker that like, but like higher than any of you are, so it, no danger of hitting you. Just holds the shield up just in case. Nick's like uh, under his breath as he spins the pistol back into its holster. Smile, like son of a bitch. Idiot. And after that, like not long after, like uh, thirty to forty-five seconds. Uh, make a perception check, both of you. And I guess Kalshin, since he's looking out there. Uh, 11? I'm gonna double check. Can I, I think still sense right, it though. if it came in? Uh, not, Raystra threw it out, so. Uh, yeah, make a what check? A perception check. Perception? Uh, can we just say, what, what, uh, I can't find ex the exact tools I would need, but like, what, what, uh, stat do you need me to roll with? Can I roll with intelligence? Yeah, it would be intelligent. Isn't there a mechanics or slicing role skill? There is a technology role. Technology is what I would need, yeah, yeah. from you. Okay. 
Okay. So I rolled I'm, an eight. I'm, I have expertise in alt pulls. But yeah. I am proficient. So technically, take expertise in this, but it's all intents and purposes a technology roll. Uh, temporary boosting myself, which is guidance. Nice. Oof. What did what did you get, Nix, on the perception? Uh, I got an 11. I also got an 11. Both of you barely see, like, there's shifting, the, the trash is, like, shifting ever so slightly in the, like, very immediate area of the explosion, and then it settles. It's out there. I it's got cool. a dirty 20. Cool. So it does still take some time. Like, fixing a machine doesn't, you know, isn't like, oh, here we go. Uh, because because you're not an astromech droid, you can't just plug in and be like, it's fixed. I, I bypassed the compressor. Uh, <laughs> I believe the term is using multimodal reflection sorting. <laughs> I probably passed the compressor. You need to pull that hunk of fucking metal out of my goddamn ship. <laughs> no, it makes sense. Trust me, but I don't have time for it. <laughs> I, no, I agree. I, <laughs> we literally um, don't have time. So I'll say it takes about an hour for her, but she, but with that roll, pretty confident that it like is fully functional. The mining laser on top, which is kind of like on a rotary cannon, the drill you think works, which the drill is kind of like. There's like a hinge and it's moved off to the side so you can get access to the engine. And then you can, when you're done, you can like it back on and it, and it's not like a round drill. It's got kind of like spinning carbines, you know, like those farming machines, those like, uh, not turbines. sifters, what are, tur what are, but there's like two of them and it's made to like grind up what's in front of it and clear a path. And uh, you're pretty confident that it all will work and decently well unless unless you're unless things go wrong. But does anything else happen in that hour or do you all wait for If my tactic of blowing it up did not work, then I will wait. That's technically a short rest for everyone but uh, um gosh. Well, I I was just going to say during this short rest, I'm actually going to check my data pad to see if that uh that imp got back to me with any other viable information not no juris jury you don't have any new messages from anyone actually i believe i also already used my force recovery so i can't use it re use it again until a long rest sucks I'm looking apparently mechanics kit is a thing but it's not in the things i'm allowed to pick that's malarkey i think it's i, I it's it's probably because the character sheet thing is still in beta um, Ben, I will say, uh, just in case you're not aware, second win comes back on a short rest, so you can second win at the start of the short rest and get second win back. Oh, cool. Well, let me just, let me use my hit die first. Yeah. Let me, just... let me use my hit die. Well, I would second win first because it's guaranteed going to come back. Hit, hit dice don't come back to the long rest. That's very true, actually. You know what's dumb? Your DM won't hold your hand for long. The, the kits and tools were under separate things, but I don't see why a kit would be different from the same category as tools, and there's no way I wouldn't be proficiency in, in, a, in a mechanical oh, yeah. kit. Just because of your background. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. I'm back to full. <laughs> Sick. I'm a quicker sure. fixer, which means I can I reduce the time required by half as long as I am present during the entirety of the repairs. Oh, okay. So yeah, hour, because hour is rather fast for all, all you had to do, like, you know, uh, getting this engine, like, clean to make sure every moving part is good and you know there were some things that need to be replaced but like uh external and mild things and you were lucky enough to find replacements here in these grades so in an hour you're like and you and you get in and you hit the ignition button and you know it it doesn't rev up like a gas engine because it does not run on gas <laughs> oh it's uh, still you know it does that whole pod racer sound. Yeah. And the drills do start spinning, and you have to be like, oh, turn, turn that off. <laughs> the drills were, like, locked in on. Yep, I ah. turned that off real quick. All right, let's make some noise. All right. Now, I think the best bit is for two of us to get on this thing, roll it out there, try to get its attention, see if we can do some damage to it, and if things start to look a little haywire like it starts pulling us under, we bail out. Mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna, maybe we'll what I'm gonna are you two gonna do? Well, probably lay down covery fire from the background, I guess. 
Oh, wait. How'd you look at all, all three of you? Do any of you carry blasters? No. Yes, I have one. I pull out my, my vibro blaster boy. My, my, my light pistol. It's not the biggest thing in the world, but, you know, we'll do. Nyx will, uh, take a deep breath, pull out his pack, open it, start pulling out parts and start putting things together, uh, and click together his, uh, his, uh, blaster carbine. Ooh. The, the, the long, uh, the long rifle that, uh, yes. clones are given. And you haven't lost your touch, it takes you, like, 60 seconds. <laughs> yeah. I also, uh, uh, you know, I also have the the, the other things, and I, sh- you know, show off. He'll take, uh, he'll take her small gun and put the big gun in her hands. I'm not sure I'm proficient in this. <laughs> it's like, you know, she's holding it wrong, like, like a baby. <laughs> like a child. She's holding the wrong end forward. Uh, right, she's well, not holding whoever is... it, it's, it's less, it's less she's holding it wrong, and more like it's too heavy for her. Like, what are the tags on that carbine thing? Uh, let me take a look here. Uh, blaster carbine. Two-handed. Range 60 to 240 feet. 16 rounds uh, before it needs a reload. Is it, uh, is, is it a simple blaster? Is it categorized? Oh, no, it's Marshall. No, yeah, no, this is I, I appreciate the offer, but I can I can do well with my little uh, trinkets and doodads, and then just hands it back to him. <laughs> <laughs> Want me to teach you how to use one of these later, then? Uh, all right. Well, then. I mean, whoever, I think uh, so. I should probably be on the thing. I, I am pre- I am proficient in piloting, so and I've spent time with this, so I should know how it works. All right. Well, then, uh, who's gonna man the laser cannon? Is gonna he look at Raystra. He, she look. I was literally about to say she looks at Nyx. He's gonna hold up rock paper scissors. Uh, if you want to be able to hit the broadside of a barn, you really don't want me to do that. Fine. He tosses his carbine to her. Don't she, lose it. She gives him a look and just straps it to the rest of her shit on her back. <laughs> Nix. Yes. If you would allow me, I feel like this is a good moment. This is something I'm going to do semi often. If you guys aren't okay with it, uh, let me know. But we're going to have a quick flashback. Because as you're putting that gun together, it takes you back. You haven't done that. And then holding it. You have not done that in forever, and, you know, everything kind of fades away, all this muck, all this grime, and kind of smell to nothing but shiny, fluorescent white. And you are sitting in a bunk, only about the the physique of a 12-year-old, though you are only about one years old, and you, for about the 16th time this evening, taking your gun apart and put it back together... And your upper bunkmate, Index, just leans over uh, upside down. He's like, hey, how many times do you think you need to do that? As long as I can do it and keep breaking my records, I'm going to keep doing it. Yeah, well, being a soldier isn't just taking a gun apart. Well, it's certainly effective. Yeah, that's one of the things. We have all kinds of training and you're just, you're keeping me up. Don't you have studying you need to do? Yeah, 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 yeah. I ace all my tests, and you know that. He's gonna continue. Well, we all have our own ways of studying, and maybe this one's mine. All right, fine. Once again, starts taking it apart. But just try to break a quietness record, then. And then kind of the, the rhythmic sound continues uh, and takes us back out of this flashback to present day. <laughs> Don't lose it. Points to his gun. I've had it since I was a kid. Uh, uh, you're you're uh, literally uh, 12. <laughs> You're, yeah, I was about to say, you're, you're like, technically, by all accounts, still a child, in the eyes of numbers. In the eyes of math! <laughs> in the yeah. eyes of math, you are still technically a child. You know, a good clone once said to me, You know what? This isn't the time. <laughs> get in the goddamn, uh, get in the goddamn juggernaut. I absolutely believe that, I b- absolutely believe 1,000% that, you know what, it's not the goddamn time, is in fact something a clone said to you once. <laughs> <laughs> you can lecture- <laughs> Look, you can lecture me when you stop getting yourself, uh, 
into so much trouble that you get uh, taken away by a uh, heckin' imp. And then I get in the, then I get in the thing. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. All right. So relay as clear as possible to your uh, not very bright dungeon master your plan. The plan I had was to get it out there and start making a ruckus with it mm -hmm. to try to see if it would if it would like encourage it to either attack us or at the very least attempt to eat us and then just start laying into it with the laser so everybody is inside the truck then no everybody it's just else? it's it's just uh it's it's just ash and me uh the other okay. two the uh, other two behind like as backup as you're in the rotary cannon on top then and just for visual reference uh and just picture that it's cut off at the front two wheels it doesn't have any of that storage in the back. It is just the, the truck part of the front. Just the front truck. Yeah. Got it. Ugh, poor girl. Half of what she used to be. Just like most things from the Clone War. I think it's more like three quarters if all the storage stuff's no, no longer on this thing. Not, not even three quarters of what she used to be. You know, you're going to constantly correct my math every single time I make it. Yes, I'm good at one thing. thing. I'm good at one thing, and that's math. Yeah, whatever. Okay, so to make sure I understand, yeah, you all are rolling out of the garage. Kalshin and Raystra are staying in the garage to... Uh, Raystra has the carbine mm -hmm. uh, to take pot shots if need be, and you're just gonna do donuts until something happens? Oh no, I'm 1,000%. I was about to say, can I, like, sit on top? Sure, absolutely. Yeah, if everyone, if it's probably safer if everyone's on this thing anyway. There's... I just like I like the idea of him like climbing through the thing, poking his head out through the rotary cannon, turns around and there's Raystra just Sub. standing right next to him. Yeah, behind I would say. I think you're in that zone and there's actually like handholds and you like slip your foot under one of them. So like if you're not gonna slip anywhere. Yeah. What What are you doing? You're gonna get knocked off that way. No, I'm not. <laughs> get in the <laughs> damn juggernaut. No. I do. She just she gestures to the shield. One thing. <laughs> Kalshin just kind of kind of like speaks up. Just like, in fairness, uh, this entire machine looks like it has a better chance of falling apart than she does at falling off it. Thank you. She's gonna do what she wants. You truly cannot stop me. You are not my dad. I swear, I don't know why I even try. I, d I don't know either. She says, like, properly sitting down. He's just, he's just holding his head, rubs, rubs the bridge of his nose one more time with his middle fingers, and then just puts his helmet back on. All right, let's go. Wait till she gets a jetpack and becomes a fucking menace to society. <laughs> you know what, what I want to do? You, you know what I want to do? Because I fucking love character interaction. Mm -hmm. I would like to know... Uh, how Raystra is feeling right now. Are you going to ask, or are you going to do some sort of check? I'm going to do an insight check, if that is okay. It yes. absolutely is. Feel free. And I have insightful, which is a Nautilin feature, so I have advantage on this, because I'm trying to figure out how you feel. Poggers, go for it. Fuck. Smooth. Wow. Three and a seven. That's a, uh... Ah... Uh... Hold on. Total, yeah. That's a, uh... That's a ten. Yeah, I mean, she's not... Particularly... She doesn't... 99% of the time, she does not attempt to cloak her shit. It's just kind of the way that she is. She was really upset earlier. It was, like, painfully obvious that she was upset. But now that, like... There is... Now that there's an enemy, now that there's something to fight... She's kind of like, you see her like rocking back and like kind of bouncing up and down in the seat a little bit. Like she seems excited because it's like, all right, yes, the thing I can do. Well, uh, Kalshin will look in the other direction to make sure that everybody basically to make sure that we have essentially 360 degree vision. Yeah. So I'll, I'll describe exactly what. So Ash is in the driver's seat. This cockpit, I believe exactly if you remember the uh, pre-finale episode of season two of Mandalorian, they were driving one of these, I believe. I was going to say, be, like, I yes. this, this was the thing that they that yeah. they hauled ass in. 
Yeah, but only the front part of it. So picture that cockpit. Ash is in is in the driver's seat. Actually, there's two driver's seats. It looks like she's in the left one, I imagine. Oh, whichever one she desires. Ray, you have kind of poisted yourself on top, which there's no seat. You're kind of just on that little bit of metal behind the rotary gun and have like with a strap and a handhold kind of just like you're like kind of sitting sitting on most of your hip in a, you know, ready to shoot in any direction kind of position. But there's no seat. You're just keeping yourself on this with your leg strength. (laughs) It is a transparently a bad idea, but every fiber of my being is like, no, she's sitting on top of the gun. It's cool. It's cool. The back can open. It, it, it like used to like go back into the storage area. Now there's nothing. So Cal, if you would like to just be like at the kind of this one actually is like a garage door. It kind of goes and you can just see out behind the truck if that's what you desire. Sure. And kind of hold on. There's one of those, like, what cars have something up in the top that you can hold on to with one hand. Okay. Uh, I also, I wanted to have a conversation with Ray Stroud, because I... You are right under her, <laughs> so... So you still can. Cool. And lastly, Nyx, there's a ladder in the, like, side of the cockpit that leads up to that rotary gun on top uh, that he is sitting in, and kind of... You move it, like, twice, and it, like... There's, like the noise of the rust like grinding but then after you move it a little it starts to get smooth and you think it'll you think it will suffice that'll it'll be fun it'll be fun <laughs> i believe in it it's a good girl bang bang it's gonna do fun it's gonna be great <laughs> i mean this is a great idea. it's gonna be fun i spent so much time on that i uh, rub, rubbed out all the all the kinks it's fun yeah i'm gonna do a, uh, i'm gonna do a weapons check while they're having a conversation just to make sure that this thing's gonna work Fix it. Stop. That was Stop. Kills. Stop futzing. You're gonna Stop. break it after I just fixed it. I'm just checking to make sure the guns work. While that goes on, Cal, what, what would you like to say? Once we get to the next planet, I will be certain to take off. If that's all right, I just want to get off of Coruscant. She looks kind of confused, and she goes. I mean, I don't know why you're asking permission. You're an adult. You can do whatever you want, I guess. I'm not necessarily looking for your permission. I'm just trying to give you reassurance. It's really easy for me to tell when people are uncomfortable around me is probably the best way to put it, yeah? There's kind of a pause, and she's just... It's not you. It's the Jedi. Yeah. Just... It's... Complicated. I... I don't know. I try not to think about it too much, to be honest. It's just sort of... She kind of makes like a vague hand gesture. Like, it's just kind of... A lot of shit, you know? Like... I know that... She kind of just sighs and looks, like, over the edge to just kind of collect her thoughts. And she's like, it's... I have a lot of feelings about what happened to me. And about the fact that the people who were supposed to take care of me just didn't, I guess. And that's not fair. I don't have, like, bad feelings or anything. And you don't have to go because of my weird baggage shit. It's just... I don't necessarily... I'm not asking for your life story at this point. I don't feel like I've known you well enough to necessarily feel even close to having that sort of thing. I don't necessarily know what else I have left to fight for, so the comfort of those around me is just all I have at this moment. Then I'm fine. I'm not... She kind of looks towards, like, the gunner seat. 
And she's like, it's not even really you I'm mad at. <laughs> so don't take it, like, personally. I'm just... She scratches the back of her neck and she's like, I just am kind of shitty. Well, there is good news. Mm. We have a therapy monster we can unleash on. Oh, yeah. No, I... This is going to be incredibly cathartic, and I'm going to appreciate it immensely. Uh, Nyx, Nyx pulled the trigger, and it hits the wall and makes a burn mark. <laughs> oh, the weapons work! <laughs> ah! Good job, dumbass. So... I told you, it was testy. <laughs> Listen, someone someone ripped out the compressor on this thing. I don't know, it's all testy now. I That's told not, you it was testy. It's not canon. It's not canon, I'm treacherous. <laughs> <laughs> I told <laughs> you, this thing Blast was you. fragile as a newborn baby, and you decided to just pull the trigger with no regard for life itself. That's not canon for this canon. <laughs> This cannon is not cannon. <laughs> this cannon is not cannon. Not my cannon. <laughs> Two ins and one in. It's fun. I I can't lie. This does make me feel nostalgic. Oh yeah. The Clone Wars weren't good, but I think they've given a lot of us a sort of experience that we're just not going to get again, and. I can't help but see the positive in that. I mean, I guess. I wanted them to end as quickly as possible, but... Hmm. The opposing side of it was not... good. I mean... I know I have the contradictory experience I usually do, but... I got one friend out of it and she she kicks the she kicks the uh the turret like not yeah. hard enough to do anything just hard enough to scare the shit out of Nick. Like a clang yeah <laughs> ah! clang just opens the, opens the thing we had an attack no you just pushed the wrong button i did not does he know and as he's going down she goes you did didn't you hear the noise <laughs> I swear to God, I swear to whatever may be out there in the in the galaxy, if this thing, if that kid busted it up, I'm gonna be pissed. Does he know what? <laughs> About the other clones, and what happened to them. Yeah. I mean... It uh, just can, didn't... I, can I hear this part of the conversation, actually? I mean, we're all kind of, like, nestled together. <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of hard. Yeah, it's kind of hard for me to miss this part of the conversation. And so, uh, Nix will he'll he'll perk up at that mention. Uh, it's gonna open the grate, kind of come up for that part. Listen, that day was weird. I don't entirely know what happened. One minute we're on a mission. We got ambushed by some separatist spies. I got hit with a blaster on my helmet. I went down. And when I woke up, my team had killed a Jedi. And when I started asking questions about it, they looked at me like I was a traitor. I see. So, long story short, I had a very uh, sudden retirement. Roughly the same thing happened to me. I was just my master, and then we got ambushed by clones. All I heard was that the Jedi betrayed me. Chancellor. That's all I got. I didn't, when I asked how they betrayed the Chancellor, they didn't answer. When I asked when, they didn't answer. They just looked on, like... Up until that day, I felt like I was surrounded by brothers. 
by oh. people who would fight with me. And then suddenly they were cold. I heard mention of an order, but I never, I never found out what it was. Well, as far as I'm concerned, I think even calling that man senator is a bit giving. Yeah. <laughs> all, all I know is you I just, the Republic... You just hear the quiet, hmm. All I know <laughs> is that the Republic never did anything from where I came from. You're kind of on our own. The Clone Wars didn't even touch us. It's All this is new to me. The Clone Wars didn't really go much outside of the outer rim, but, um... Let's just say one man played rock, paper, scissors against himself and won in an excellent manner. Weird way to phrase that. <laughs> he just... you, you, you wouldn't know that, Kaoshin. Yeah, you wouldn't know that. <laughs> yeah, you, Kaoshin, Wait, I didn't want to know that. I thought Palpatine made like this huge speech. Like, I mean, yeah, but no, nobody would know that he controlled the Separatist side. He, everyone would know what he propaga propagated that because of him... He, they we won the Clone War, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That okay. All right. Uh, Kelsey explodes on the spot. We're not canon. <laughs> Everyone, to uh, trim prune this timeline. <laughs> it, it just sounds like things were a big, big old mess, and I don't. Very. Yeah, that's a word for it. I know I'm probably definitely uh, underselling it. I don't want to invalidate any of your experiences and clear trauma that it was experienced. I have no uh, no way to understand that depth of what y'all went. Well, I have, a question. I have a question. If we make it out of this alive, do you mind if I come to the Outer Rim with you? It sounds much more peaceful there. I mean, we can... I mean, y'all will need a pilot. We can go wherever you want. The Outer Rim sounds nice, to be perfectly honest. No, that's a sentence you never think to hear. I know. <laughs> Imagine hey, the I'll... outer rim being nice. It's... I have a question for you, Kaoshin. Okay. Yes. I heard Skywalker died. Is that true? He died fighting, fighting against the Jedi who went against the Chancellor. How much would I know about Skywalker? Make a history check. Make a history check. Yeah. If I roll a 20... <laughs> Very curious on what that would give me. <laughs> this is a lore check. This would be a lore check. Uh, f five. Five? Oh yeah, I heard of Master Skywalker. He's cool. Yeah, I also heard he died. He probably died like all the other Jedi. <laughs> I really wanted to pull out the deep lore, but I'm not from Wild Space. I'm from the Outer Rim. I wouldn't know anything about the chess. Yeah. You are close enough that you know about navigators and you know, but not just navigators. Uh, I but, wouldn't know the term Skywalker. And the, the trade languages, but you wouldn't know the term Skywalker, no. Yeah, no. As far as I'm concerned, only one Jedi is alive right now. Who's that? <laughs> Raystra just slow turns and looks at him and goes, Did you actually just fucking ask that? <laughs> Oh, Jedi being the general. I'm sorry. I thought you meant like a master. No, I mean. Not to assume that you're not a master. Just uh, uh you mean a real I'm, Jedi. I counting myself. I, naturally, there's other talented force users gesturing to Raystra, but I'm. Uh, <laughs> I. You don't compliment yourself a whole lot, do you? Uh, not in this context. Let's stop it. <laughs> she just kind of blinks. Like what? <laughs> Nick punches her foot. It punches her foot. It's important to take stock in what you're good at and be proud of your of your skill set. Anyway. No, there are no other Jedi aside from myself. I guess Cal didn't get the the the, the frequency message from Obi Wan Kenobi. <laughs> It would make sense. I don't think any... Well, there could be some that missed the, missed the thing. We have, not yet re we have not yet received word from the baby. <laughs> I haven't... No. Uh, there, I, who the fuck is Grogu? What are you talking about? That's what I mean. We have... 
We have not yet received word from DeBaby. You know, if we get off of here, I know a place in the outer rim that just sits outside the outer rim that could possibly be a good drop off point for us to leave from there. The only downside is that it's hut controlled space. Well, at this point, I have reason to believe the huts are easier to deal with than the Empire. Just barely, though. If, if you, uh, if you squint, maybe. I think Tatooine might be our best bet. Tatooine sucks. I will pull this campaign over. You're <laughs> not going to Tatooine. Oh, come on. Stop, stop the immersion, stop the game. <laughs> I will pull it over. <laughs> I will turn this campaign around. You just, you just I hear do know head. of another Skywalker. There's nothing special about Tatooine. You, in all of your basic knowledge, know a lot of dust balls, and Tatooine is not like... Tatooine would be, be go, like, we could go to Utah. And it's like, that's not what, you know, it's not the first one anyone thinks of. So no, I'm putting a kibosh on it. You just hear Raystra groan, and she's like, I fucking hate Tatooine. Tatooine sucks. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think I'd rather be in Coruscant. All right, all right, jeez. I'm a fish. I, I get it. I'm outvoted. It's just... What are you going to say, Ash? Uh, it's... I mean, we can always take a pick stop back at my home planet, but it's kind of out of yeah, like... Where do you live? Did we decide oh, what wait. my planet's name was called, Justin? You live on Sherikon, which is Sherik 1. It's a planet in the Sherik system. So unnoteworthy, it doesn't have a special name. It is just Sherik 1. The locals portmanteau it to Sherikon. Liter- literally nothing in that system is noteworthy other than Sherik 1. It very late was discovered that it's uh, a massive resource for mining. Uh, it has so many natural resources. But because of that, its magnetic poles are all out of whack. And it is kind of like... It, it looks it looks like it's a gas giant, but it is not. The storms that are that are in the sky are bits of metal, uh, and you can't really see down to the surface. And when you're down in the surface, you can't see up. The only way Ash knows, because she got out, there's a space elevator on each pole. It's the only way off the planet. You can't fly ships down onto it or off it. I mean, you can't see the stars at night. Uh, it's kind of, I mean, it's good for mining much, Mike, will fall, but not much else. <laughs> so the stars at night are not big and bright in, in sci-fi Texas? In Star Wars Texas? Sherikon knows Star Wars Texas is somewhere else. <laughs> space Texas is mid-rim. Yeah, Space Texas is, uh, hold on. Uh, I was about to, I was about to say, well, we live in Coruscant, so we don't see the stars anyway. I mean, like, at least you can see the sky. I, I, I grew up seeing just bits of of metal and rock that just surround the whole thing. It's like it's in a protective blanket of sheets of metal. Like Ringo Vindan is is Space Texas. <laughs> Got it. Uh, I know for you that sounds like it's just the day to day because you live there. For me, as a clone, that sounds amazing I mean, and extremely can... tactically uh, tactically sound to be able to put a front base. I mean, I guess uh, we can't fly a ship directly onto the surface because it's just our poles are all. Where the hell were you during the Repu- during the war against the Separatists? You would have been a uh, you would have never mind. Space battles were fought over that over lanes to that zone all the time, but the Separatists never broke through. BM. Yeah. Look, they never bothered us because it's hard to even fly down on the planet to take it over to begin with. I don't know what to tell you. Yes, yes, Kelsey. Uh, is Glean some uh controlled by the Empire right now? Yes, I believe it was a republic. I mean, uh, at this point, almost nothing isn't. <laughs> so the Mon, Cal- the Mon Calamari haven't started the rebellion yet. Yeah, I'll go home and tell my my instructor that I was a failure and couldn't make it on Coruscant. That will be great. <laughs> Yikes! It sounds rough. Uh, look, look, I know that I have it had I've had it very easy, so I don't even want to like think about my struggles being even remotely comparable to your war trauma. That wasn't that 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 I was mean, not my intention. I, I didn't mean to say it like that. It's about to just her just shrugs and is like she's got a point. I mean, sure, I mean, comparatively. Th- I mean, thanks for your condolences, I guess, but like it's not. We, it's whatever. No, I mean. 
listen, I, I, I get it. It's, it's, you know, comparatively, it's three war criminals and a mechanic. Mm. You I also mean, know uh, she she looks at him and she says, "I think you're a war crime. I don't think you're a war criminal." <laughs> uh, it's funny because it's true. That's going Tell that to the... the empire because I'm deemed a war criminal. I'm, I'm a deserter. Add that yeah, to list of quotes. Yeah, I don't. Th- I think you are the war crime. I'm pretty sure. He could possibly be both. Says the ex Jedi. I mean, trash. Uh, it's, I. Ooh, how do I put this non offensively? Careful. Be as mean about it as possible. It'll be really funny. <sighs> I. I. Nick's cover your ears. Oh. I say this because it's the only comparison I have in mind, and not that you are actually trash. But trash that refuses to be thrown into the trash can is pretty offensive. Yeah. <laughs> that is fair. Ash, you do know that even though Imperial presence is like a big word, right? The imps control your planet. They're they're the ones shipping the resources out up the elevators and out. But like, there's no military because except one, you know, cruise a couple cruisers in the atmosphere outside of the atmosphere to defend that zone. But like, there's no occupying army because they don't need one. They, you know, it's one entry point. Two entry points into the planet. That's how you got here. You, Ash, made your way up the the ranks in, like, the mining guild with your engineering skills. Cashed in a favor that cashed in a favor that cashed in a favor with, like, one of the imps. And was able to, like, book passage to the center rim. Look, if we're gonna have to have a ship with a good designation number if we're gonna go back. Because the imps are in control of my planet, but it's not super heavily guard, just a couple of cruisers. So, like, uh, I'd rather we have a ship that's not gonna get... Okay. I mean, I guess I could what was it? mess with it. Anyway, well, we need is... to... Alright, fair enough. <laughs> I'll ask later. No, you can ask now. Please do. Oh, well, who is that guy that you mentioned? His, One that his... was offering to pay you in spice? Yeah, I got his name. His name was Hondo Onaka, but I, I think... Do I know uh, that name? You, we've already been through this song and dance. <laughs> uh, ch- rolls were checks were rolled, if I remember correctly. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, but I don't remember what the answer was. <laughs> you guys didn't roll high enough. <laughs> Fuck, uh, we don't get to know who the cool one, is, who the cool guy is. Uh, I, I took one. I mean, that man tried to pay me in spice, and nothing good can come out of someone who tries. He to was tip very his ass. charismatic. <laughs> he had a he had an energy about him which I respected, but like he was loading stuff up into his ship as I was fixing it, so clearly he was trying to smuggle something. I mean, we can he's, try, he's gonna, but like, I, I don't know. We Nix might is, yeah, Nix is stroking his chin. I mean, if there's anybody that's gonna have clearance codes past the Empire, it's somebody shady. Mm, yeah, but if somebody's gonna get up some busted trying to get out, it's also gonna be someone shady. Well, that's why we have you. What? It's, fuck you mean, that's why we have me. I'm the look one that's at not- you. Look. She looks at her armor. What? Say it. Say the words. You're a fucking unit that's not that's not worth trifling with. No. I mean, look, uh I'm not please don't take offense when I say these next words coming out of my mouth, but you three in particular are liabilities because if the Empire catches word of any three of you uh, it's gonna be trouble for all of us, so if we're gonna get by here, I need to be in charge of that. What's wrong with race trap? I mean, I mean, that's why I'm saying we should probably reach out to this guy, because he'd be the best at smuggling us. I, it, she, she looks at Calcine and she's like, I feel like this is a joke, and I am afraid if it's not. I mean, I mean, as long as you, you can use can the force, you can hide use the, the force fact in, that you use. Then you're no. from a bad war. Oh. There's a pause, and she just looks at them and is like, oh, yeah. And then she looks at Dix, and she's like, they don't know. You didn't tell him yet? 
No, no, I did not. We've only known each other for maybe like 48 hours at best. I'm not expecting your life story after such a short period of time. No. Okay. Uh, do you want me to tell him or do you want to tell him? Uh, I, I will. We'll, we'll do it after this. We'll have an exposition dump after we take care of the stupid thing and get a reward for it. Yeah, exactly. I quickly check my data pad to see if we're going to get a reward for this. There was a reward, yes. Okay, good. <laughs> but that Nyx was clearly avoiding, like, not even paying attention to, but Ash is like, <laughs> yeah. there better be a reward for this. We got it. I checked the quest details. The party yeah, brain Nyx cell. I have to be the party brain cell. Do it, Nyx do it. Nyx literally had a slight panic attack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we are getting money for this, right? <laughs> do donut snowballs. Serving the Empire is its own reward. No, it's not. Uh... No, it's not. <laughs> anyway, uh, start blasting and try to start making a ruckus. So anyway, I started blasting. <laughs> start blasting, no, was... don't... Remember the trigger sensitive, don't go whole hog. <laughs> and you go forward, then, yes? Don't go full rancor <laughs> on this thing. Go full rancor, got it. No, don't do that! <laughs> <laughs> I'll use sound trick to cause harmless tremors within the ground. Ooh. So... Are we driving forward? We're driving out of this garage? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I, I was assuming we were doing that this entire time. We weren't just sitting yeah, in the garage. Yeah, No, no, you, you definitely were just sitting in the garage. <laughs> I was under the impression we were moving and talking. No. I was you also under that impression. After, after this much time, you would have made it to the other side of the, of the trash continent. That's fair. Uh, <laughs> Do donuts... Yeah, so you go out a little ways and start doing donuts, and Kalshin will cast his force powers. Uh, He's totally not thaumaturgy. It definitely does not even take long. It takes about two minutes of donuts, less than, for... Uh, will... Blah, 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 blah. A... Uh, what is the armor class of this? Oh, it will hit! A tentacle emerges from the from the ground at one of the tires and kind of like just a mouth wraps around. Let me minus the damage. I know the stats of this thing. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah. Uh it it's on the front tire. Okay, cool. And that kind of makes the machine your your vehicle isn't grappled, it's too big, but the tire kind of is. And so there's a moment where you, and like, it makes it turn, like your donut goes like way tighter than usual. You're doing more excessive donuts now. And all of you can definitely tell because there was like a yank and a, that like something has grabbed on. Here up! Well, we got its attention! Uh, would you like to roll initiative or just decide when, actually, Ash should go first, I feel, then Nyx, then Ray, then Cal. Does that sound fair? I'm That's fine. Uh, yeah. Uh, Ash, what do you do? I'll use the drill to uh, try and get the thing off of the tire. So you like turn the drill on and lower it real quick to make it go like right in front. Make that melee weapon attack. Oh, that's fun. That's a natural 20, baby. Oh boy. Well, <laughs> roll, you know, 2d10 plus 3 then. Nice. I mean, that's 8 damage. Eight damage. You grind this thing up. It's it. You grind it into like four big chunks, and it f flies away from the wheels. And now you're free, and you you go forward a bit before you start donutting again. Everyone with line of sight, basically at this point, would be Cal and Ray. Uh, you again see like the tube just f go down. Uh huh. Uh, it doesn't take long for another one to come. Is it gonna attack? It is, and it's gonna hit the truck. Okay. It's another four kinetic damage. This one, I'll say, kind of just like gets a swipe at the bottom, but like doesn't grab onto anything. And then as you're going forward, it's like left behind you in a moment of turning. So like if you turn the gun around, Nyx has a has a point of view. So does Ray. So does Cal definitely does. Uh, so Nyx, it's your turn. What do you do with the second tentacle? Uh, so the second tentacle, is it latched onto anything or is it not? Uh, no. It, it hit the bottom and did some damage, but couldn't grab onto anything. And so you guys have passed it in this moment and we're kind of in slow motion 
as you decide what to do it's like kind of directly behind not directly like a little because you're in the middle of turning okay all right thanks i'm actually uh, can i like start firing the laser more so at the ground than at the tentacle i'm trying to like goat this thing to come up and get us at full uh yeah i basically won't... i'm trying to antagonize this thing so i won't ask for rolls for that you just kind of psh, psh, you have two shots and just like trash psh, like shoots up as you shoot like next to it Raystra, it's your turn uh okay cool i'm going to do uh two things one uh i am going to no yeah i'll do this first i'm so can I see at least a little of the main body? Uh, no. Only a tentacle has stuck it up still. Eh, well then... Oh, no, then I'll just do this. I'm going to use one of my force points. <gasps> force three. And I'm going to use sap vitality. Oh. Oh. Oh, that sounds... So what needs to be... What needs to happen? Tell me all about I it. need to make a melee attack. Melee? You're melee. not in melee with it. Oh, can I get in melee with it? I mean, if, you can hop off the was, truck, too. I thought it was wrapped around the truck! It has not, no. This one particularly took a bite out of the bottom, couldn't grab onto anything, and so it's emerged from the ground as you guys have driven over it and are, like, drifting, and so it's, like, oh yeah, I'll jump uh, down. ten feet behind you. Oh, yeah, yeah, just, yeah, yeah. Like, I'll jump superhero down. jump, it's ten feet, no damage, no roll. No. And... Uh, you, you walk up to it. <laughs> yeah, and then I'll, yeah, I need to make a melee attack. I swear one it, day I'm going to hear her knees pop. You will do no such thing. <laughs> uh, that's an 18. 18 hits. Pog, uh, I am now going to roll a 3d10 necrotic damage. Yeah. <laughs> Keep getting just the tentacles, so the body has to come up at some point, unless it can just regenerate, and we're just in an infinite loop, and just is going to keep us here forever. That's the reason why I'm trying to goad this thing out of here. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I'm stupid. I'll wait till next round. <laughs> that is... Ooh! Really good! Yeah. Uh... Shit. <laughs> it's 22 points of damage. Oof. Jesus. About four times its max hit points. Uh, <laughs> I think it's dead. Uh, describe to me how it dies, and this is a this is a dark side power. Describe to me what you're it, channeling it, and what you're doing. It is, doing. in fact, a dark side power. So uh, paint me a picture. I was going to say it's... So, she just kind of walks up to it. And you see her just grab it, like, with her bare hands. Cal can kind of feel the way that the Force kind of... His, hers is, like we said before, it's more mechanical to her. Yeah. He can feel the, the gears stick and then turn backwards. So, like, they're running in reverse. And you just see it, like... From the point where her hand is, you just see it rot. Like, it just starts to fester. Like, it just starts to necrotize. Like, it just goes black and turns into sludge in her hands. The way that, like, flesh corrodes. Yeah, Ray, that is what you see. Cal, what you... F There's, like, a wave of... And it's like... It's, it's, hard, it's hard to call it heat because it's not physical heat, but it's like when you step out into the humidity and it just hits you. And you feel, since the, since the force is like, Ash, you would feel a little uncomfortable. <laughs> you would feel like a little bit of that. But Cal, since you're watching and right there, it, uh, you know, you see the plant, the force like a tree. And so Raystra has been like kind of a wilted bud in your view for a while. And you just, it, it was, it's, <laughs> remember in Emperor's New Groove and there's that fly and the spider ate it? Yeah. That that's what that's what the moment was like. <laughs> you just kind of felt like like an oppressive sunlight 
she just kind of released it onto this creature and eviscerated everything about its about its nature. I just turned it into fucking goo. Yeah, dust. Mm. Yeah, does Nick see this happen? <laughs> uh, yeah. Because you shot around it. N- yeah, Nyx is gonna go. I haven't seen it do that in a while. <sighs> well, better on my side than not. <laughs> Truly the correct axiom. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we're continuing driving in these, uh, do you attempt to hop back on? No, I'll just wait. Alright. Then I get to roll a fun dice. Okay. I'll just vibe. Just starts doing donuts around Racer. Yeah. <laughs> doing donuts, the car's doing donuts and then Race just default dancing. Another I was, tentacle I was about to. I was truck. about to say, I'm just, I'm just fucking... Just fucking Fortnite dancing, as <laughs> contributing as best as she can. Another tentacle strikes the truck, this one, like, on the back, like, and, like, kind of right below you, Cal. It's kind of just, like, it gets a hold of, like, the corner and is kind of, like, there, and the, the truck stalls for a bit before, like, continuing its its spinning, sliding. Uh, it's your turn, Cal. Hmm. I don't like that. <laughs> I am also going to hop off, and I'm going to pull out my Shota Saber, and I'm going to do myself a little thwacky whack. Do it. Hit it good. There is my d20. All right, it's in, it's in jail. I forgot. I put it in jail. J- jokes on us, Justin's having us fight a, a false Hydra in Star Wars. It's just, so it's just regenerating over and over again, and we are stuck here. In an infinite loop. Would Justin do that? Yes. Does does this creature have any reason to move its main body upward? When its so- when its source of attack is its tentacles? One, I don't know how to explain to you that we're stupid. <laughs> it's okay. Just making sure. I'm just asking a pointed question. In- I don't know how you <laughs> intend us to get it out then. Hmm. Almost as if there's other ways. <laughs> That is a four. What did you roll, Cal? Sorry. Fourteen. Fourteen, that hits. Okay. Three damage. Uh, we'll say it was already a little hurt as the truck like pulls away, and that's enough to kill it. You kind of just bisect it. And again, like the little flesh tube pff, down. It can clearly do this all day. We need to do something else. I might have an idea. I'm all ears. Do you have a bomb? Do I have a bomb? Do I have a bomb? No. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't buy thermal detonators. It is, I, it I, is an indiscernible depth below the surface. I don't think anything we have or could get our hands on at the level that we are at would be able to be enough. Well, uh, we do have that one more oxygen tank. Guys, can't. I'm gonna stop the campaign for just two seconds. All right, I'm just gonna. We're gonna pull over. <sighs> we're gonna. We're gonna take a second. Your DM's gonna breathe. Okay. You're sitting in a mining vehicle. <laughs> Justin? <laughs> okay. Oh my god, we're fucking uh, idiots! I, oh my god, we're fucking idiots! Force one. <laughs> I, I have force push pull. Why don't you tell me what the creature is? Is it less than medium? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Where? Hold on, Cal. It's okay. Nix is gonna think for a moment and go. I think we're thinking too hard. Uh, he's gonna slide from under, uh, slide down the the ladder over to the uh, over to the wheel and push down. Now that you've done the thing that you're supposed to, <laughs> shut up! <laughs> shut up! Shut up! Shut the fuck up! Wait, does Ray get back on the thing? Or just... that's true. I will. I'll get in the. I'll get in the thing. I'll get in the fucking. I'll get in the mm-hmm. robot, Shinji. The Kalshin will Family Guy fall into the vehicle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, what happens? The truck is a little worse for wear. wear. It's technically bloodied. It has been hit enough times. Oh, it's fine. So there's a little a little bit of smoke, uh, but Nyx gets the idea. He's like, you know what? I think we're thinking this. You slide down, you look around for a lever that you didn't see in the, in the uh, manuals, and one that looks newer. You find it, and then you just, like, it down. And Ash is like, hey, that's the drill lever. And you just, like, all the way down. And the drill, f- 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 and 
the the suspension wheels kind of kind of push in a way that forces the whole thing to point down and then it starts you guys start going down and it takes like you know about 10 seconds to start making headway and making a hole and so Kalshin can get in the back but the back is now like the top at this point since you guys are mostly not going straight down of course but at a pretty steep angle more than 45 degrees uh well less than for talking sorry mathematics uh Raystra, do you hop in or follow on foot through the hole? I will hop in. Yeah. I can always uh, hop back out. So you do that and definitely uh, close the door. You like hit the button in the <laughs> sliding garage door. Uh, and some like soft red lights come on as like light, no natural light starts to come through as you guys go down. Uh-huh. And now you all understand what's happening, I hope. Nix, Nix's hand is still on the lever. I, yes. I got it. I, I got the plan. I can do. Let me. Let me do the rest of this. All right. All right. All right. Just I'm not. Man the know, I was just pulling it. Okay. All right. We're not stupid. We're all dumb. Just not, I, I, we, it's we, fine. we 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 overplanned. That's that's more or less the issue. That we overplanned. That's kind of the way of it. I'm not. Forgive me I'm, for only I'm, being in two. Not uh, this being my first major combat encounter. You're fine. I'm still not okay. I don't really have a good excuse. Um, no, we're just stupid. Uh, I'm my entire family's dead. You want to keep both picking up each other's accent? And it's really hard not to. Uh, then. <laughs> Truly, uh. New Zealand I just is the southern. I remember the word Omega. <laughs> yeah. Truly, New Zealand is the southern accent of the British accents. So, <laughs> no, it's Australia. I mean, Australia is Texas of British accents, and then New Zealand is the southern. <laughs> oh, I haven't been a space Australia in so long. <laughs> My name's Omega. I'm from Space New Zealand. <laughs> hey, so am I. Uh, no, you're from a test tube from a man who is from Space New Zealand. <laughs> Does that mean you're Mandalore is, is Space New Zealand? Which is also weird that they all have the accent, because unless he trained every single one of them and raised every single one of them, wouldn't they talk like the Kaminoans? That just came to my head. Don't. Shut. <laughs> you, shut. Literally, you literally just yelled at us for thinking too hard. Yeah, shut They locked them in a room for two years and... We haven't have played to Jango this Pets voice. campaign in three months, Justin. Uh, about th- about three minutes goes by. There's really no indication. Uh, you're just like digging trash, d- digging through trash, going down. Uh, I imagine you're waiting for vibes. Yes. 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 Uh, the as time goes on, it it is subtle, and you think you're like maybe a little crazy, but like as these five minutes have passed, it is definitely the case. The thing is shaking more and more, uh, and uh, there's a moment where something just kind of plonks onto the windshield that's definitely alive. It's a, it's a worm, but it's like the size of a man and about about as thick as a dinner plate. And it kind of like, yeah, it squirms. And then when you hit the wipers, it and like it, you see it burrow off in the direction it came from. Anyone wants to roll a check on what those things are? God, I'll roll a, um, sure, be a nature what? check. Nature? Be a nature okay. check. A lore check, you mean? We don't have nature here. That's true. It could be lore. Yeah. Or it's... I, no, it would be nature. My bad. Uh, yeah, there's this a nature. Would be nature. Fif- Fifteen. Thirteen. Remember the word omega. Oh. Uh, oh, I can't... I want to say it in the New Zealand accent, and I can't not... I can't do it in the southern. I... Omega. My uh, name is Omega. Alpha. Words. My name is Omega. Omega. Ash. Omega. There we go. Yeah. Words are all over. Word. W H U R D. Words are all over the galaxy. They are the equivalent of worms. Uh, they can be small. They they eat through earth. Uh, but these apparently evolved to eat through trash, and it's just what they eat. They have no eyes. They have no. They have no, like, defense mechanisms. They just burrow through the trash here. 
And apparently grow to the size of a man. <laughs> they are gross, thriving here in the trash. We should just keep moving on until we get to the source of this of this thing. Yeah. Kalshin just force pushes another one that got onto the windshield. Yeah. Is there a uh, piloting check? Uh, there is a piloting check, right? Uh, there yes, is. there yes. is. Yeah. Uh, go ahead and make one for me, Ash. I'll do Tem- it with help. Advantage and yeah. temporary boost. Uh, let's see. 11 plus 8 is 19 plus 3 is 22. 22. You white-knuckle this thing. <laughs> You've never driven something that like was made to drive through solid mass. It's slow going at first, but then when the drills like really get into it, you guys are keeping a pretty steady pace. And <clears throat> a bit more time passes. A bit more escalation in the shaking of the of the machine and the smoke is clearly getting thicker out of the out of the hood uh but you manage you know maybe through sheer force of will to keep it together until there's a moment where your tremor senses are like a little weird like right before this moment as you go going forward but you're going forward at such a pace that it's like a split second and you like emerge into a cavern that's quite wide and tall and kind of just like crash into the wall and like flip a little like you flip onto your front and then slide a bit because of the drill spinning, and then onto the side. Everyone make dexterity saving throws for that crash, I suppose. Red. Oh, shit. Hooray! I get to keep rolling plus one. Uh, Hooray! I roll plus six. Thirteen. Uh, Again. Ooh. Um, twenty-five. All of you, no damage, managed to keep yourself... And, you know, you were already holding on because of the shaking, so... Just and, like, the dust settles. Dust. Trash dust. Uh, <laughs> Alright, who's uh, not dead? Stand off. Uh, I'm not dead. It's I'm good. Fine. I don't know how we're gonna get back up, though. We'll figure it out. I'm sure it'll work itself out. But we'll use the force. That's not... Kalshin just... Looks at Nyx. Just looks at him. <laughs> They're not how it works. The Nautilin narrows his eyes, which is a feat, because Nautilins have big eyes. <laughs> no, I'm... No, I'm simply just awaiting what majestic thing you're going to do with the Force. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't he the only one that doesn't have any connection to it? That would be I, it. That is I the joke, n- yes. <laughs> I mean, look, I mean, we can probably, look, if there's a big cavern here, that means there might be a, a, a way to get back to, like, the mining that we saw on our way in, so I don't think we're probably trapped down here if this is something that was, uh... I mean, there is the hole you came out of. It didn't cave in, um, so... Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I, I, well, yeah, we fell, so I figured there was, yeah. like, a gap that we couldn't... You didn't, you didn't fall fall, it, it wasn't too far, it was just far enough that, like... The, the car tipped forward, the drills caught on the ground, and you went forward instead of uh, adjusting back, yeah. Climb out, it's fine. Uh, so where is this thing? Uh, you take a moment to focus your, your tremor sense. You sense, like, a little bit of motion in the wall over here, but it's, like, not the size that you're used to. You think it's one of those words again, just kind of borrowing through. One actually on the right wall, like, appears... And you see, like, it's it's got a worm mouth, you know, just, like, nothing but teeth. And, and like, it, it moves side to side, realizes there's no more, and kind of, like, goes back. This planet makes me want to kill things. I mean, you are mm-hmm. doing that right now. Enough. But this cavern, it looks, it's too uniform to be uh, accidental. You think this is just one of the mining paths that they took, that has been established. But you did follow, you know, the direction that the tentacle rescinded into. Uh, so you're probably just start going. Uh, you're kind of at a dead end, so there's only one way to go. And you guys, uh, what's the marching order? Uh, well, first, I will be the front line. That is my job. I am tank. Okay. Um, before we go. Uh, I'm going to take my carbine back, and I'm going to ask everybody to wait outside. Give me ten minutes. Wait outside. Nyx will, uh, he'll take ten minutes. Uh, and after, like, a while, uh, it opens back up, and Nyx is going to climb out and just clone armor. 
Mm. Ah. Is it shiny? Is it polished? Um, yes, it is. It's right. pristine. Ah. Could spot you from a mile away. God, no wonder. Uh, yeah, well, uh, I had a feeling we, we're going to need a little bit more of... Uh, I'm going to need a little more protection. Yeah, it's true. Is that better than normal armor? Uh, the other armor that I was wearing? Much. I'm glad we're all the only ones down here. Uh, let's go. Uh, you guys march forward. Make a survival check. Everyone can. I'm technically proficient in this. I am not. That's a natural 20! Ooh. Uh, 20 22. That's a 12. 23. Um, what are we rolling in? I'm sorry. Survival. 10. I have just been consistently rolling 10s today. Ray and Ash, working together using Ash's tremor sense, you kind of suss out. Firstly, it's clear this, like, mine shaft, big air quotes, hasn't been used in a while. Uh, there's just signs of things that have been left that are in disarray and just no new signs of new tunnels. And you kind of just basically just suss out with vibes, but there's not a whole lot of branching paths. And when you do, uh, you kind of have Ash feel with her tremor sense and go in the direction of the most, uh, activity. And it does not take long before you emerge into kind of an opening and there's like a precipice uh, that you all can see over in like a, a kind of domed ceiling cavern with a few other entrances that you can look across and see. But down in like this pit is just a, a mass of flesh. It's white. It's like pale white uh, and kind of like it's sphere ish. But you can see it's like deep. It goes down and kind of makes a cone. And there's kind of pustules all over. And what you watch one pustule kind of like open and a tentacle that you're familiar with like emerges and goes upwards and actually uh, right towards you all. <laughs> oh, good. And we'll need to roll initiative. But because I was just about to say, uh, we're gonna need a bigger juggernaut. <laughs> but we'll have to roll initiative next time. Star Wars First Resistance is a live play Dungeons and Dragons podcast using the Star Wars 5e system, which can be accessed for free at sw5e.com. Our podcast features the player talent of Bubble Brook as Asha Kai, Silver Keyblade as Kalchin Femir, Ben Leopard as Nyx, Heaton Oruni as Raistra Akan, and this Justin as the Game Master. You can find links to our social medias in the description. We hope you enjoyed this episode, and if you did, please, we would love it if you left a positive review, commented, and shared this with your friends. We can't thank you enough for listening to us goof around and tell stories, and we hope you'll join us on next episode. Until then, may the Force be with you.